works. Yeah, super. Okay, so um, the, the uh, very primitive question that I want to start off with, by the way, this is heavily uh, um, leaning on uh, Lynch's book. Yeah, see, um, I think Michel gave you two different books. Um, this is following the structure of Lynch. You will see I don't necessarily buy into all his concepts. I filtered it yeah, because this project we have a particular environment, for example. Yeah? Uh, uh, so I have filtered this a little bit. But actually, if you're reading the chapters along this, this will really enable you to understand as well the principles. Yeah? So I, I do hear the cruel thing. I, I summarize concepts in one word. Uh, so if you're curious about certain elements, you will have to read up. Yeah, so I expect that from you, that if you're curious about something. So I, I will try to answer in this lecture, really, how do we analyze the strategic environment, which gives us actually a prospect of doing a strategy. Yeah? And the doing I will explain later. Yeah? This sounds as well slightly cryptic. It's not that I uh, uh, have made here a grammatical issue. Yeah? We will come to that. Okay. Here is the overarching model that uh, Lynch actually suggests. In the new model, it's slightly altered. Yeah, you see that at the beginning, we have to analyze the environment. This is, is a prescriptive approach. Yeah, this is when we look at our environment, what is needed? Where do we have the edge as a company? What resources do we have? Yeah? Then the purpose, from this, we then generate options. Or as project managers know, it's plan A, plan B, plan C, yeah, if you want. Uh, but here the options are still on the strategic level. Yeah? And then we make our choices and implement. And choices, here we can be already on a project level. Yeah? And strategy quite commonly is actually implemented via a, a project management. Yeah? We, we do this at the moment in this university with emerging into faculties. It's a project. Yeah? It's a project for the dean of our faculty and uh, uh, he's looking basically at a certain time element. He has to implement it and make it work. Yeah? Okay, but uh, again, this, this was what we are going in this whole module. Yeah? Uh, uh, now we are just looking at this. Oh, and my tea moved. This was an intention. Yeah? So uh, it's, it's environment. Spot the tea here. Yeah. So anyway, we, we look at this. Yeah? Okay. I, I, I wanted to use here um, the, the case study that you can read up on, uh, but there are a few reasons for this. Um, it, it eases a little bit uh, the otherwise uh, more heavy above reading condition. Um, you, you can use many different companies, but SUNY is a good one because it's in all three books that we recommend. You can read up on the facts behind it. And this is easy, yeah? so you don't need to read like the, the past. Uh, uh, 40 uh, uh, issues of The Economist or Wall Street Journal to actually understand what publicity went on in Sony's dilemma of getting where they are now. Yeah, so we, we want to really start at uh, uh, 2005, where um, uh, Sony faced profit problems. And to set the scene, because it's not very current, uh, this is quite some time ago, eight years ago, yeah, there were a few new innovative products coming out from them, too many unprofitable businesses, and of course, large size and uh, 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 conflicting interests. 2005, what do you remember from Sony? What, what was Sony? Where would you say, wow, this was a great brand? No? Okay, there, there are some that didn't actually have any contact with Sony. Do you see, this is why they were in a crisis in 2005. You don't recognize them for any product. This is bad. No? You would want to recognize them for a product. Can, can anybody help me, 2005? What did you have? Walkman. What? Walk, Walkman? Yeah, yeah, you spot on. Mm. A PlayStation. Yeah, very good. What was this 2005 though? It was before 2005. Yeah. Uh, this was potentially PlayStation 2 or 3. Yeah. Or was it 2? 2. Okay, 2. Uh, okay, uh, we, we have here a hint already. Yeah, and uh, uh, interestingly, yeah, the, it, it was PlayStation rather than Sony. Yeah? Uh, um, I, I remember when, when I was a little bit younger, even uh, than 2005, Sony was just a great brand to have for stereo systems yeah, and, and uh, associated products. Yeah? Uh, uh, as well, there were these video recorders. You had a big tape that went into the machine. Yeah, that, that was when you had Sony, you had like a decent brand. 
so so was a quality judgment at my age at that time. Yeah. Anyway, so um, yeah, they, they had a problem. Uh, uh, another one. Um, the old uh, uh, managing director uh, and CEO both uh, retired. While well, the managing director got sucked, and the CEO actually then uh, um, left, and uh, um, a new le leadership entity moved in. Uh, Howard uh, Springer and uh, oh, here you have to stick with me, Roy uh, uh, Shubachi. Yeah? This is how I would pronounce this. Uh, appointed in 2005. Yeah, uh, and, and here they wanted to make, of course, a lasting impression and they wanted to restructure and move this company. Yeah? So how did they analyze the market? Um, they, they, uh, um, this is how they split it down. This is how it's simplified in the, uh, in the book. In reality, they have a very differentiated portfolio. Yeah? This is a summary of different products that they have developed. But it's good for our understanding. Yeah? So it's a share of business sales in million, and they have segmented this into consumer electronics, yeah, lost uh, uh, 393 million. Sony PlayStation, yeah, as, as we recognize already, a trading profit of, of 650 million. And, and you, you see it there in yellow, uh, uh, in, in pink. Yeah, and then you have the Sony uh, uh, Music trading profit of 182 million. And Sony Pictures trading profit 333 million. Sony Financial Services yeah, trading profit 530, and then others 96 million. What, what is the issue with this? Do we have an issue here? It looks good. Like the majority of our portfolio make a profit. The, the problem is the consumer electronics, isn't it? Yeah. But why is it a problem? Yeah, massive loss, and, and what's worse, it's, it's where they sell the most. Yeah? It's the biggest uh, 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 product market, if you want. Yeah? This is where most efforts of production, of marketing, of sales go into. Now, this is bad if you don't actually then have the return on the investment. Yeah? Okay, and here uh, a quick quote to actually uh, strengthen that argument. Mm. The challenge is to galvanize the Tokyo staff and harness their anger and pride and uh, redirect their energies into ways that will rebuild Sony. Yeah, so indirectly we have here already a notion of what company culture we have, yeah? the, uh, which is interesting in itself. Yeah? Okay, but let, let's move on. Of course, uh, as pointed out, yeah, we have an issue that the biggest uh, um, sales uh, a share is actually making minus. Yeah? Sorry. So this, this is really what it came to. So what is wrong with Sony? And, and this is a, a, a quick analysis. The, at the same time of 2005, yeah, the Walkman, well recognized, yeah, uh, was actually replaced yeah, by, by a competitor. Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, was really replaced as an innovation leader yeah, by iPod. And then the internet came uh, uh, with other companies. What, what came with the iPod? How did we buy music before? Yeah, we, we could suddenly download. Yeah, MP3 players uh, uh, mushroomed, yeah? and and Walkman was kind of attacked. So you had actually um, kind of switched the market paradigm. But we come to that. We want to understand that actually. Yeah. So and even the new uh, PlayStation 3 was late. So then even on the project delivery, yeah. So uh, for actually developing their portfolio, they had delays. Yeah, and this is of course bad, especially if you're constrained at that. Yeah? So um, then what else did we have? The Sony Consumer elect uh, Electronics suffered from old technology. No uh, premium for Sony brand anymore. Yeah? So but what I uh, identified earlier, that it was great to have a Sony stereo, was kind of outdated. It was now great to have an iPod and, and other brands. Yeah? And then of course, delicate situation with regard to large number of employees in Japan itself. No easy cost cutting. Uh, this is a very typical strategic uh, uh, approach. Yeah, we, we just look at the whole organization and say, like, okay, if we don't produce that much, then we, we stop a few lines and take everything out that is uh, uh, related with that line. And this mechanistic view often has the uh, implication that we notice that people actually work on the line. And then you have big problems because in Japan, it's a very close society that actually looks after their employees with strong union or social contracts. 
yeah, uh, uh, um, uh, representation, which is interesting in itself. Yeah, so it's a very uh, uh, yeah, um, inert culture there. Yeah? And uh, of course, then at the same time, Sony in its size had ended up uh, to uh, culture, uh, uh, company culture, large. Uh, does anybody know? What, what do they do before they start uh, a manufacturing line? What do they do? They have a ceremony be before they start working. Has anybody heard of that? Yeah? So I'm starting to do, do that exercise and some copy song. Yeah. Yeah, the first singing and then stretching and some, yeah, I, I would interpret that as a, a mix of Palate and yoga, but uh, it's, it comes basically down to a certain uh, um, yeah, fitness exercise before they go to work. Yeah, and everybody uh, goes along. So even the chief executive, yeah? uh, uh, so it, it's kind of interesting and intriguing at the same time. Uh, actually, why whilst I'm now laughing, or, or why you may laugh about this now, uh, they're, they're actually doing very good on their health surveys. Yeah? So um, there, there may be a, a, a hidden uh, uh, links there, yeah? but uh, th this is a speculation for me. Yeah? The, uh, uh, then you have uh, next to the company culture, uh, large company culture and associated networks, you have sport clubs, I wrote against them, yeah, this is very important to recognize. They come to the UK to compete against us yeah, uh, in rowing. They're, they're very good actually. Uh, uh, and uh, bureaucratic, uh, um, uh, uh, of course, with this size came along. Yeah, they had to have like, policies in place to guarantee as well quality and control mechanisms and had lost uh, uh, its innovative cutting edge because they had formalized it too much. Yeah? So this was really the beginning of the strategic environmental analysis, and it's a summary. So let's have a look behind it. Please join us. Uh, take a seat, please. Yeah. The, um, so let's have a look how we arrived at something like this. They, they really stole this kind of, of from Porter. Yeah? So Porter uh, uh, was a very ambiguous uh, uh, yeah, management scientist, I'm not sure that that is the right term, but this is what he described himself as. And uh, um, it, it led to a um, certain combination of tools that were um, deemed to be perceived as uh, uh, um, important to actually come to terms with the strategic environment. Yeah, some of them you are already aware probably with, so environmental basics, we, we have a look at that in, at the, uh, in a second. Then degree of turbulence here relating to the market. Yeah, we have a look at that too. Pascal analysis, uh, uh, then industry life cycle, key factors for success, then the five force analysis and four links analysis. Hello, join us, please. Yeah. Uh, uh, competitor analysis and then customer analysis, and then we have the whole cycle, and then we have the company or public sector organization understood in its environment. So a lot of tools. Yeah. Uh, um, they're very handy. You can do it yourself. It depends really on, on how well your insight is. Let's go through some of them. We, don't worry, don't panic. You won't have to learn them all now. Yeah, we, we go gradually through it. And as we have our lectures, we will experiment around with different tools of those. Yeah, because otherwise it's a little bit overwhelming. We want to see when to use what element of this and uh, when it's actually useful. Yeah? Okay. Uh, analysis of the strategic environment, uh, uh, um, those are the written down ones as we just had. Uh, um, uh, here it's a little bit more refined if you're interested in the keywords. Yeah, so for example, customer anal analysis is often with demand segmentation and positioning. Yeah, um, uh, you, you have it sometimes as well, we, we have oddities of, of supply as well, where, where customers are actually based around supply. Um, this is more the public sector, I don't want to confuse it too much. But uh, this is pretty much what we need to understand at the end. Yeah? So, but don't panic, we will look through them, that we come to terms with them. Yeah? Okay, what is the general evaluation? Here we really think about market size, yeah? market definition, what product services do we uh, uh, include, is the market big or small, implications for business opportunities. Yeah? Um, well, oh, here's an interesting thing. Um, you, I think we shall ask you all to pick a company of your um, preference. Is this true? No, there's skepticism about this. Okay, this is a little bit uh, a, a pity. Uh, okay, we, we will have a look at that uh, uh, with, uh, um, with the Sony example, but uh, um, 
and want you to think along, along these concepts a little bit with a product or, or a company in mind. So this is actually applicable. Yeah? So I, I want you to imagine, when it comes to market size, yeah, a product. I personally uh, cycle, yeah, and today I couldn't cycle in for, for some reasons. And uh, uh, so bicycles is, is a product that I'm always quite interested in. Yeah? So th this is maybe what I would have in mind, but you, you need to decide as well, product or, or company yeah, that you have in the background of your mind to make sense of this. Yeah? So we are after the market definition, what products are there, what services do we include? Yeah? So with a bike, what do we include? Do we see it as its purest form? Do we see it as a bike and yeah, we compete with other bicycles? Or do, you, do we see it as a form of transport? Are we competing with helicopters and walking yeah, uh, in the most drastic, or, or a horse? Yeah? There are many alternatives of, of traveling, if you think about it. Yeah? Uh, and uh, uh, so um, this is an interesting for the market definition. Yeah? So, and then it comes to the market, is it big or small? Does everybody want to cycle? I don't know, let's do the question. Uh, who wants to cycle in Newcastle? Yeah, there are not many. Yeah, good. We have a few. No, okay, not, not that many. So uh, just <laughs> to, for conclusion, uh, uh, from my poll, it's a minority that thinks that that is a tempting idea. And actually, quite frankly, if you look on the roads, it's normally uh, uh, young men in like tight clothes, yeah, quite frankly, yeah? <laughs> on, a, on a race bike, yeah? They're like uh, uh, training for Tour de France or something. Yeah? So, um, and yeah, maybe this is an indicator that it's not a cycling friendly environment. Maybe that's the wrong marketplace here, yeah, but anyway. Niche market is good too, yeah? so no problems here. Implications for business opportunity? Well, yeah, I have to find uh, the, the people that want to have these uh, uh, tight clothes on. Yeah? This, uh, this would be the key for me, maybe. Yeah? This is a hypothesis. Another thing we have market growth, growing fast or slow. We had the Olympics here. Some new people see cycling. Yeah, they, they have seen Tour de France and how fast you can go. Yeah? So this is good for me. This is a free advertisement. Yeah? So I have a great opportunity here. And then, of course, uh, the question is attractive opportunity or, or really mature. Does everybody already have a bike? Yeah, the, if everybody has a bike in the garage, it's kind of, then, then I fight with a replacement. I have to say, like, look at my bike. It's better than your bike. You want my bike. Yeah? So th this is the idea behind it. They are very simplified. And then you want to understand, of course, as well, the market share. They are a dominant company. Are there already companies that do bikes? And as a matter of fact, there are many. Yeah, so it's, it's a very fragmented niche market thing and actually, especially in my road bikes here for Newcastle, I have heavy competition because there are a lot of famous brands. Yeah? So I, I really go in here in a, in a very uh, a bad market in a way. Yeah, but uh, okay, so this, this would be the idea behind it. Yeah? So then uh, uh, with, with Sony, I, I want to draw the analogy. Um, uh, uh, Market size was, uh, we, we look here at the global market for consumer electronics, yeah, the largest share, share that they had, uh, exclude computer games, machines, software, because different, more specialized customers, yeah, so uh, they have really done this according to what we just discussed with the bike. And then you have a market size of 200 billion. How, how do they calculate this? How do they know that there's a market of 200 billion? Uh, 250 billion, sorry. How would we do this with my bicycles in, in the region of the Northeast? Who, who would be my potential customers? All the cycle shops. The cycle shops, okay. So how, how would we do this now with the cycle shops? So we would count the cycle shops? Yeah, exactly. Yes. You would look at, at uh, uh, how many bikes are actually being sold via the shops. What, what would be the, the potential maximum of bike sales? Pardon? Yeah, exactly. Yeah? So um, if you're good, you diversify your product. Yeah, you want to have a mountain bike, a road bike, and then uh, a bike with a basket. I don't know why, but it seems to be very attractive too. Yeah? <laughs> uh, so you know, like, you can diversify then yeah? and, and give everybody three bikes. Yeah? But uh, in, in reality, this is the idea. Yeah? And often, we make it up. Uh, and when I say make up, we, we make an informed guess. So uh, uh, the idea with the shop was very good. And then you look at the potential. Now people have watched to the front, so maybe they want to cycle. Then you do a poll. Uh, if you want to go the safe route. But in reality, it's, uh, uh, for example, the uh, scratch bike scheme that we have here. This is a great incentive, actually, 
to, to um, uh, bring bike as a product to people. Yeah? I, I don't know if you've seen it, it's a, a green bikes with a um, stand uh, on the campus and around in the city center with green bikes. Yeah? This, this would be one way of doing it. Yeah? Okay, so they, they have done that and, and they, they have done it by nations, yeah, they think a little bit bigger and uh, um, they, they want to make deals with nations and, and this uh, is always a tempting thing, especially on the strategic level because uh, um, Politics seems to be uh, uh, insurance as well uh, in some countries. And um, so uh, wealthy nations, larger but mainly replacement demand. Yeah, this would be as well true for my bikes. Yeah, we, we, we try to compete here with having the better product than it was before. Yeah, so if you think about your mobile, that's not the... Uh, oh, here, here you are testing, uh, my examples are testing myself here. I think it's uh, iPhone 1 is not that in anymore. We are an iPhone 5, right? Yeah, okay, I got that one right. Yeah, so uh, this is the same idea. Uh, and uh, um, then uh, uh, they differentiate the wealthy nations, developing nations. Well, why do they do this? Uh, they do that purely on the uh, uh, pricing basis. Yeah. So um, uh, here, easily uh, summarized as cheaper. This is not always true. I mean, be careful. Sometimes developing nations have uh, developed a different taste. Now, the uh, next week, we talk about my old employer a little bit. When it comes to food and beverages, you have actually sometimes a lot more expensive uh, um, products in, in certain areas. Uh, because they are really demanded and, and desired, they may actually be uh, more expensive. So uh, read this uh, with care. Yeah? And then, of course, uh, there were other segments like TV, radio, for the Sony. Yeah? Okay, uh, what, what was the big point about it? Well, uh, massive markets will need massive resources serve all markets. So in other words, if you have a PlayStation and you advertise it, and a whole generation of kids and adults buys into buying them, yeah, then it's very bad if your store or your stock is like sold out straight away. Where, where did that happen recently? Which company had exactly that problem? It, it was a competitor of the iPad. Yeah. Who, who wanted one? I said guesses. Why guesses? Nobody? Samsung. 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 Yeah. And uh, what, what did they do? Who did they collaborate with? Yeah, Samsung is uh, where we go with Samsung. Yeah. <laughs> they, they had a, a project together with a, a Chromebook. Yeah. And uh, is this correct? Yeah, Google. Uh, yeah, with Google. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, basically, the idea was that they would bring it out and test and pilot this. But it was seen directly as an alternative to the iPad. So there was a massive demand. Uh, they couldn't actually come uh, um, after with a production. Uh, so this, this is uh, uh, important to recognize. Yeah? So for example, if you have a prototype, a project here that you are running, then this has huge implication. And the fine tuning is extremely important uh, that you're actually ready for those production. Uh, uh, Circuits, but this is more the manufacturing side. And then, second of all, we see other ways. Maybe Sony strategy should focus on selected segments. Yeah. So again, they, they prioritize here on potential market uh, value. Yeah. Um, so um, with the wealthy notion, I wanted to um, differentiate as well a little bit. So wealthy markets need more advanced products. Th this is not true. Yeah, um, necessarily, but this is how you find it in the literature. Yeah, advanced means you do like to have the iPhone with a personalized screen. Yeah? Something like that would be a classic example. Yeah? Or, or there are other examples in that direction. Uh, developing markets need uh, uh, cheaper, more basic products. Again, I would uh, 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 read this with care. This is what's written in the literature. Yeah? So you want to test that. That may not always be true. Yeah? Then uh, uh, to the second one, but uh, which segments provide the greatest opportunity? This is a completely different story. Yeah? You, you can have, um, uh, ca can, can we just do the phone uh, uh, test? Who has decided to go with Apple and who has gone with somebody else? Who's gone with somebody else? Oh, <laughs> not, not so many. <laughs> okay, we were not even half. Who, who's gone with Apple then? Or not that many either. So, and, and the rest doesn't participate with phones, yeah? I like that. This is uh, actually uh, for, for studying, you don't need phones really. I understand it completely, yeah? Why not release from this, yeah, exactly. Okay, 
Well, um, the, uh, um, coming back to our Sony example, so uh, when we came to the market growth, the market did grow. Yeah, people did consume more. So we are back at our bike store. Where, where would uh, uh, Sony doesn't really sell in a, uh, uh, um, a bike store? Where where would they look for like indicators like that? Markets. Where, where is our market? It's not the market in Thailand. I'm pretty sure I haven't <laughs> seen them there on a Sunday. Yeah, with a little store, Sony. Uh, this is not how it works anymore. Yeah, exactly. They have their retailers. Yeah, very good stuff. And and uh, um, where, where where do the retailers get the orders from? How does that work? So the markets are now our retailers. This is important to recognize. Yeah, we have specialized that. Yeah. Wholesale. Wholesale. Yeah. And and how would we uh, um, see that if we have a growth? What was a company like Sony? Not my cycling business necessarily. Yeah, 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 yeah we, we are. Well, you're bigger cycling business. Uh, we start big. Sony has their own showroom in Hong Kong. Well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they, but uh, you used to think at the interface. We would see that on the stock market. Yeah. The um, the, there would be actually an indicator of how they move, yeah, how they trade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, but uh, okay, when we come to that, we will look a little bit deeper into that to actually make sense of it. Yeah, so 9% uh, uh, per year, um, but lower for more established products like television and radios. Yeah? So new technologies include digital radio, that were times, isn't it? Still have, I still haven't got a digital radio. Yeah, okay, <laughs> satellite, broadband, uh, uh, TV screens, segments grow, uh, and then mature. What, what does it mean, mature? It's a strange terminology, isn't it? I think it's established. Yeah. Established? It, it's stabilizing, yeah, it's, it's both good. Yeah. But the rate of change diminish. Yeah. The rate of change at the early stage is quite fast. We have frequent changes. Yeah. But as an industry or market segment matures, the rate of change are diminishes. Yeah. Although there are changes but they are yeah, very good. Yeah, so the, we have here a tendency of a curve. Yeah? And, and we come to that in a second even more so. So when it says uh, uh, segments grow and then mature, it means the market sales. Yeah? So how many products we sell. So at the beginning we sell a lot of iBooks yeah? or, or uh, uh, Google, what, what are they called, Chromebook? Or the Nexus. Okay, I'm not sure either now, but uh, um, yeah, so at the beginning you sell a lot, and then uh, just the occasional person that doesn't have one buys one, then everybody has one. Yeah, so this is the ultimative theoretical uh, um, matured uh, level of a market, uh, uh, but uh, um, quite frankly, normally it doesn't really go that way. As pointed out, normally we have incremental change, or we do the product slightly different, and then people are like, oh, I have the new one instead of the old one. Yeah, and then you have a new market curve. Yeah? And then when, when the change is so drastic that it's actually profitable to buy the alternative, then you have, of course, a new market. Yeah? Okay. And, of course, new technologies need companies with strong resources and a willis, uh, willingness to take risks. This is always the other one. Um, this is a very cryptic one. Let, let me ask that one question again. Risk? What, what is the risk? For my cycling shop, what is the risk? Competition? What, what could competition do to my business? Like, if Com you don't sell enough bicycles, I mean, the amount of money you spend on the production of bicycles will not be incurred. Yeah. So, um, so there's a danger that I make no return on my investment. investment. Yeah, super, excellent. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. The, um, and, and this implies, of course, mm -hmm. Yeah, that uh, um, we the risk is really just the likelihood of the worst case happening. Yeah, there are alterations. Yeah, what 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 do we do when we don't sell the bikes? What do we do? Do we sit at home and we are like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Now I have to cycle all these two hundred bikes that I just produced. Yeah, yeah you, you go out and you market it. Yeah, the, uh, yeah? 
And uh, um, so, the, the, okay, we'll we come to that in details, but we are on the right trick, uh, uh, trap. So risk is, is really anticipated dangers, yeah? hazards to our business. Yeah? And, and this can be on a cost basis, most often it is, because uh, our insurance and accountancy build, uh, 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 models actually focus around the financial, but uh, um, there are actually alternative uh, dangers and risk as well in asset. Yeah? Okay, what, what are the strategic applications for Sony? Uh, um, well, Sony has the opportunity to become the electronics pioneering powerhouse again. Quick, quick jump to the future, are they? Are they today uh, this powerhouse? What, what do you know them for? Do we have PlayStation? Today's product? Who, who has a PlayStation? This is a slightly geeky question, but okay, a few. I, I like it. <laughs> thank, thank you for the commitment here. Uh, the, uh, um, and any, any other products from Sony? Television, yeah, very good. And anything else? Telephones, mobile phones. Mobile phones. Car studios. Car studios. Studios. Oh, stereo in the car. Cars. Yeah, yeah. Actually, specialized. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Actually, I haven't seen one of, uh, for a long time, but a uh, very good example. Yeah. And uh, anything else? Um, I think they are also into um, the making of health products for maybe checking up um, blood pressure and stuff. They are into health. Yeah, very good. Yeah. And they have actually big contracts at the moment yeah. here with uh, uh, UK. Yeah. Cameras? Cameras is another one, yeah. yeah. Actually, that was a very important one that we forgot. Yeah, uh, okay. So they, they have uh, replaced themselves, but they are certainly not the big powerhouse. Yeah, so we have slightly uh, uh, skepticism of this environmental analysis. Yeah. So market share uh, here uh, uh, illustrated in uh, World Consumer Electronics. Here you, you see the competitors. Yeah? So Sony is, is uh, 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 the leading one in 2005. If you look nowadays, do you think they are still the leader? No. Who is the leader? Apple. Samsung. Yeah, Samsung was the right answer. Uh, Apple is actually, where, where would Apple be roughly in, in percentage? Do you think he, that would be big? Consumer electronics. Yeah, we both limited with the product. Apple has a very limited uh, portfolio in this area. Yeah, so Samsung would be probably, uh, who would be number two? Okay. Oh, Philips, I, I like that, that uh, it's just for, yeah. it's not Philips, so. Any other? Do, do we have any new players? Is there something missing? Is there something that you have at home and it's not there? Consumer electronics. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's homework, yeah, Th think about it, but uh, it's, it's, a highly, it's really changing, yeah? so it's an interesting marketplace, because new ideas really bring new players in, yeah? So, uh, uh, strategic implications, well, um, fragmented markets, no, no dominant competitor, uh, uh, this is slightly wrong, uh, uh, Samsung did become uh, uh, the uh, dominant competitor, we had as well other companies moving into it, yeah, the, um, what, what is about companies like Bosch? But where are they? Uh, but anyway, they, they have new products that they have moved into the segment too. Yeah, but anyway. Uh, so, uh, need to reduce costs and remain competitive. And uh, Sony needs to identify where they uh, possess its mar market leadership. Yeah? So, here, rather than looking at the whole market, you specify then on products or actually uh, innovations around products. Now, that can be a very uh, strong thing as well. And then, Sony's, uh, Sony's market leadership based on past innovation. Uh, um, this is often underrated. Yeah? They, they have often uh, knowledge capacities from inventing all these devices. Yeah? And uh, often in the strategic market literature, there, there is uh, not that much um, fruitful um, yeah, uh, incentive setting uh, yet. Yeah? We, we normally cram that all into research and development. We have now, uh, in the last two years, I've seen with bigger companies shifts towards it. It's still a very uh, a current uh, topic that is not very well managed. Yeah? Okay, so step two, measure the degree of turbulence, low or high. Well, what do you think? So, uh, well, actually, let's define it first before I jump uh, straight into this. Changeability is, is one criteria, the degree to which the environment is likely to change. Then predictability, the degree to which such changes can be predicted. 
and when both factors are high, essential uh, to <coughs> use emergent processes, then you have a very turbulent environment, of course. So let's think of my bike shop again, yeah, where we have our bikes. Here in the northeast, do you think it's a turbulent uh, uh, place? High or low? And, and why? So whether in, in the northeast, what, what do yeah, you think? Like in the northeast, maybe it's the lower than compared to the south. Yeah. People cycling out with the wind yeah, towards the coast, mm -hmm. very happy, cycling back against the coast, uh, against the wind, yeah, to town, uh, very, very tiring. Yeah. So yeah, this, this could be one. Yeah. You have uh, identified a, a strong market mechanism. Yeah. So weather would be. Uh, uh, probably we, we are in the wrong region here yeah, to sell our market uh, uh, share in the maximum. Yeah? And, and is it predictable? Do, do we have like pockets where we can actually uh, predict it well? Yeah? Actually, where, where would you have put the weather? Is it changeability or, or predictability? Predictability. Okay. Yeah, well, weather is one element, yeah? so in, in other words, it, it's really the question if the people then stop using this as a transport. Yeah? Okay, well, um, uh, the, we, we come to that actually a little bit more when we look at the interdynamics between the environment and the resources, because then the turbulence becomes a lot clearer. For um, the shaking up uh, um, uh, Sony, here I had the uh, Wolfman, and then the HP invent. Yeah, this is uh, uh, from the, the case from the uh, uh, um, uh, book, but I uh, uh, think we can use here as well uh, other mediums like iPod in a larger site. Uh, what do you think? Uh, degree of market turbulence high, medium, or low? Oh, high. 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 Why? Um, the rate that it's um, competitors market players churn out product is quite high. Mm -hmm. And you cannot really predict what your competitors R and D uh, the uh, research uh, unit is doing. They always come out with a surprise. Mm -hmm. So it's quite difficult. Or uh, it's very, very turbulent. I shouldn't say this on, on camera, but ironically, in research and development, it's a very close network. They all read the research papers too from each other, uh, especially when they work with uh, knowledge transfers with university together. So we, we have normally a grasp, but it's a surprise to the market. So I would probably alterate uh, uh, in that direction. But you, you are spot on, yeah? The, uh, uh, in a turbulent place like this, Walkman was still like refining tapes, LCD, yeah, and, and then there was a mini disc. Do you remember that? Yeah. It was a Sony invention. Yeah, uh, it certainly wasn't the, the the one that took off uh, uh, too great. Did anybody have mini disc? Imagine. Yes, excellent. Oh, two. Wait, wait. Let, let's give it more time. Three, four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then there were a few. I, I had one too. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, and it didn't jump that often. It, it did jump occasionally, though. I had the easier version. But yeah, anyway. So we, we had like a lot of innovation, yeah. And uh, um, yeah, it was okay. Uh, forget about the uh, blue checks here. The important thing is the degree of turbulence is rather medium or, or higher. Uh, uh, this is actually not considering that's a whole swap to MP3 and uh, MP4 modules, uh, uh, where we have actually switched away from that medium. And the strategic impl uh, implication was really uh, need to maintain some flexibility and react to events, but prescriptive strategy possible. And so here we have to actually reconsider our strategy itself. Now this is actually a, a bad sign if we have something like that. Actually, where, where are we time-wise? Oh, sorry, I, I didn't realize that. Uh, um, what would you prefer, um, the break yeah. and then uh, <laughs> okay, two, two options and then voting, yeah? 
the, uh, um, if, if we have people that want the break, we do the break. Yeah? So uh, just run through for one and a half hours and then long break or a uh, um, uh, uh, break. And then we, we go on for 45 minutes. Break? Okay, we have a few nodding breaks. Okay, we, we make a, um, a 10 minutes break now and then start sharp at 2. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Yeah.